Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. And this video is all about the Walmart coders round 2 which is a coding challenge. I know many of you are preparing for E2. So first I want to congratulate uh, those who are shortlisted in the round 1 and qualified to the round 2. So it was really a very tough competition like nearly 1,13,186 members have been registered for this and only 6,190 members were shortlisted and were qualified to the round 2. So it was really a very tough competition uh, because they considered the speed and the accuracy of the uh, of each and every question. So that's why it was very tough. Uh, by the way, congr uh, I congratulate and others don't be upset i will be sharing more internships and challenges and other job opportunities for all the batches uh, but before getting this, to this video uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update from our channel and also join in our whatsapp channel and the telegram community where i'm sharing all the internships and job opportunities for all the batches so this video is all about the walmart coders coding challenge so in this video i'll be sharing you the complete details of round two and the what of the topics you need to study to crack this and the best resources to prepare and the tips to crack the coding challenge and i sorted some previous year questions on like nearly 35 questions are there so let's see all these in detail so first in the round two all you know that the number of questions will be two so two problem statements will be there and the duration comes as 90 minutes which is one and a half, one and a half hour so you need to store, solve the two coding questions in one and a half hour and the speed also matters here so how much fast to solve that man, that many of marks you will be getting so for each question there will be of 100 marks it means for two problem statements you will be having the two marks oh, sorry 200 200 marks and also uh, the important thing you need to keep is the cumulative score of the MCQ and coding challenge will be considered for shortlisting the final students. So after this, there will be some other interviews and everything. So before that, uh, like after this coding challenge, uh, they will be considering the marks that you scored in the MCQ challenge as well as in the coding challenge. So just they will make the average or everything and they will be considering the students uh, for the next round. And also the equal weightage for the private and public test cases. So in the problem statements when you are solving, there will be weightages for the private test cases as well as for the public test cases. So everything has to be passed. And the next, the topics to study. Uh, the first is the core DSA topics. So I sorted these uh, some important topics uh, from the DSA that you need to prepare very well. So first is arrays and strings, hashing and hash maps, two pointers and sliding window, recursion and backtracking, stacks and queues, linked list and the trees like BST, binary trees, DFS and BFS and the graphs and the, like shortest path and next dynamic programming like knapsack and the remaining Next, greedy algorithms. So all these are very important for the like from the DSC topics. N next, as problem solving approach. So you need to focus on the time complexity like big O analysis and other, and solve the medium to hard level problems on the lead code. So this is one of the best. So you need to solve. You need to practice a lot uh, to qualify uh, like to get shortlisted to the next round. And the, all questions will be from the medium to hard level itself. So you need to solve some medium to hard level problems on the lead code and other uh, programming platforms. Practice edge cases and optimize solutions. Next, coming to the competitive coding skills. Speed is mattered here. And so practice the solving problems under the timed conditions. And learn debugging quickly in an online coding environment. So debugging and the speed and the practicing all these are the key steps to qualify the strong. Next, coming to the best resources, I sorted some important like uh, 
important documents and everything that uh, will help you to uh, like uh, get shortlisted to the next round so some of the coding platforms like lead code so solve the top 150 to 200 problems they already sorted the for the walmart so particularly like top 150 to 200 problems you need to solve it the link is in the description and it's code chef like dss series and the competition solve those and then geeks for geeks the interview corner and the must do the coding questions and the hacker rank and practice the time coding challenges these are the coding platforms next topic wise playlist and guides so i just took the uh, like uh, important and important topic wise playlist and videos everything i mentioned in the description do check it out the first is Triverse SDE sheet. The link is in the description. And next is the Need Codes Lead Code Roadmap. And the next is the Code Forces. This will improve the speed and the logic. All these links are in the description. Do check it out. Next, Mock Test and Time Practice. So, uh, like, uh, take some mock tests. This will help you to get practiced and uh, will help you to solve the uh, coding questions very quickly. And Walmart coders previous year questions, you can check it on the lead code and other platforms like Geeks for Geeks discussions. But whatever it is, I just sorted the previous year questions. Uh, just uh, we shall look at all those previous year questions at the end. Next, take mock contest on the code forces, lead code, and then code chef. Next, for the stand, queue, sliding window, dynamic programming, heap, searching, and sorting, linked list. These are the very important topics you must prepare. So for all these topics, I found the best YouTube videos and some playlist. Everything I'll mention in the description. Check it out once. And must do the coding problems. The questions were given by the love bubble. These questions, uh, this document is in the description. Check it out and practice those problems very well. Next, I got some tips to crack the coding challenge from the previous uh, finalist candidates so two coding questions will be there you need to solve in the 90 minutes and the level will be from medium to hard level and next practice questions from the resources and the previous year questions all links are in the description so uh, the resources which i have provided to you and the previous year questions the document everything prepare it uh, and the next first attempt, uh, first attempt the question that you feel easy. So just look at the two coding questions and which you feel easy and comfortable, then attempt it first. Next, some other extra times comes as review of past mistakes to avoid the repeat, to avoid repeating them again and get comfortable with the Walmart's preferred languages like C++, Java, Python and some other programming languages. So choose only any one language and you must solve the two to three problems daily and increase the difficulty gradually. So next year also like every year these uh, Walmart coders will be conducting. So if not this time you can also crack it in the next year for the pre-placement interview. So these are the some important uh, tips to crack. Next let's go with the previous year questions. I sorted the document. Uh, let's see what questions are there. What type of questions are asked in the previously? This is a document and link is in the description. Check it out once. So if you see the questions here, like in every question, they will mention the input format, output format and the sample test case. And then in that test case input, test case output and along with the explanation and sample test case along with the input and output and some other explanation. So do check all these problems and solve them. Uh, if you get any doubt, let me know in the comments or you can also DM me on Insta. And like nearly 35 questions I sorted. If you want uh, more other resources, let me know in the comment section. Definitely I'll provide in my next videos. Like 34 questions are there. So practice these well and also along with the resources i provided to you so practice and all the best for the coding challenge thank you